feared their camp and continued on their journey. Stories from the night before lingering in Bilbo's mind. They embarked for the last bridge towards the valley of the Troll Shore. Hello YouTube, Robo3840 here for TNT Gaming, continuing on with part 4 of my Lego The Hobbit walkthrough. Um, so, uh, just follow the ghost studs, like always. Nice little long walk along the ghost studs. Not exactly, okay. So, switch over to Dwalin, right here. Hammer this. Nice little convenient bridge it makes for us. And walk up to this unfortunate little failure. And I'll tell you of his little predicament. Which, frankly, is something we need to solve to continue on. If you were planning on crossing into Troll Shores, I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. I came out to fix the bridge, but I threw my back out as soon as I lifted the first piece. It's rather embarrassing, to be honest. If you're in a desperate hurry, you could always attempt to build it yourself. Okay, so walk up to the little master builder thing, and let's see. We do not have enough wood. Do not have enough rope. We do not have enough stone. Um, I'm going to edit the next part out because I don't think it's that interesting watching me run around and bash things. Okay, at this point I have enough rope. I have enough stone. And I have enough... I do not have enough wood. Okay. Uh, never mind. If you... I guess if you're playing this and you find yourself in need of materials, have a nice stockpile of stuff right here you should be able to find some resources from. Okay, now I have enough wood. So we put that in, enter our master builder sequence. Okay, one thing I'm going to point out is during these master builder sequences, pay really special attention to the color. I've had a few of these that it decides I didn't, like there, I didn't have it right because the color was wrong. I think that's pretty terrible if you ask me. There's like very little way to tell the difference. And... Because it's lighter in the picture anyways, it looked like the right one. Let me know in the comments. Did you think that was the right one or not? Because I sure did. I sure did the first time I played through this section too. You made that look like child's play. Now I feel even more embarrassed. But that's not important. What matters is you've restored the path into Troll Shores. Here, I was paid in advance. But since you did all the work, I think it's only fair you take this. Well, with that out of the way, just continue on to your nice little point up here for a cutscene. The company took shelter for the night in the deserted ruins of a farm. Why this farm was deserted, seemingly in great haste, proved a mystery. However, it was certainly no small thing that destroyed the farmhouse. We we'll camp here for the night. I think it would be wiser to move on. We could make for the Hidden Valley. I will not go near that place. We have a map. If we cannot read, Lord Elrond could help us. I do not need their advice. Everything all right? Gandalf, where are you going? I've had enough of dwarves for one day. Is he coming back?
What's the matter? Trolls. He's got Madeline Minty. I think they're gonna eat them. We have to do something. As our official burglar, we thought you might like to look into it. I'm not afraid. I'm up for it. Are you sure this is a good idea? It's no. perfectly safe. We'll be right behind you. Mutton yesterday. Mutton today. And blind. If it don't look like mutton again tomorrow. Quit your griping. These ain't sheep. These is West Nags. Wow. Who's that? So I just got to point out here that as far as Lego games go, I've really hated the uh, sneaking s sections in both this game and the original Lego Lord of the Rings. The reason that is is because you go super slow. The fastest way to move is to actually mash the jump button so you're rolling. And... It's just a pain in the butt. It's just super annoying. You can't really do anything. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I find it super annoying. So in case you didn't notice there, when I was uh, when I was fishing there, I was waiting for it to light up. Um, because if you wait that long, then you can fish. That's considered fishing perfectly, and you can get a decent amount of studs for it. Well, that's lovely, that is. A floater. So we just roll up to these guys and break the gate. No, we don't. My bad. We break this. Put together a slingshot target. And switch to Ori. Right. Yep, I did have him. So, um, you may have seen this in my blacksmith side quest. But, um, you basically have to shoot it three times. And that horse is free. So, I guess Traveler's Tales had to find a way to make each and every single blasted dwarf in this game feel entirely unique. Which is why we no longer have just the circle targets that can be shot by everyone. And we no longer have an... What else is it we don't have? I can't remember. But you know, in previous games, circle target, shoot it with anything and it would still destroy. This, it has to be a bow. And the, the um, diamond targets have to be a slingshot. Kind of annoying if you ask me. But, whatever. It's their game, they can do what they want. Beautifully balanced, that is. Like I said, <laughs> the stealth sections make me impatient. Burglar. Uh, pop it. Oh. Burglar of it? Can we cook him? 
We can try. Drop him! You what? I said, drop him. Uh, burglar hobbit. Well, they never said trolls were smart. Just all a little, all brawn and no brain. So at this point, you need to buddy up with someone. Ah! Try not to get hit because that'll smack away your buddy. And if you die, it'll take away studs. But if you've played a Lego game, you know that already. Come on, I know I had to buddy up here. Well, that's my bad, guys. You don't have to buddy up. I just have to remember what we do have to do. Uh, I'm really sorry about this, guys. I try not to let stuff like this happen. I try really hard not to let stuff like this happen. switch to not him not Ori um, Killy yep Killy arrow catapult now we buddy up and beans looks like Ori is right here come on he doesn't want to buddy up well Thorin's over there my word doesn't want to buddy up there we go I knew we had to buddy up for something This one's actually pretty simple. Just a nice little QTE event. Reminds me of uh, Lego Lord of the Rings when we could bash a troll on the head with Sam. Using the frying pan, of course. That was always fun. In case you can't figure out what you need to do for this one, shoot the target. And try not to die. But you have to do it when he's standing under there. He will move around from time to time. Like down your arms, or we'll whip his off. Okay, for starters, smash the table, grab the rope, and pull this down. Another annoying stealth section. Sorry guys, in case you can't tell, I really don't like these stealth sections. There was one in Lego Lord of the Rings that was insanely long and really annoying. So it's probably making a difference in how I view this one. Nothing wrong with a better raw dwarf. 
I'm gonna give this bow to Hilly, Killy. Not sure which one it is. He's he's already the useful one. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Should have realized that would have happened. And let's see. What am I missing? Missing something. He's up there. I need a slingshot. No, I don't need a slingshot. Slingshot's for the treasure item back there. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> okay, guys. More smashing. Well, thankfully, guys, there's a box that will continually respawn until you have enough materials. So that's basically what I just did for the last couple minutes. Uh, I want a master builder sequence. Done? Nope, one more section. Where is it? There it is. Uh, what the? Oh, there. It looked brown. Like I said, the colors do not look right. There we go. For the last part, all you have to do, switch to Gandalf, charge your staff, and let go. Do a nice little you shall not pass, and smack the rock. Well guys, that has been level 4 of my LEGO The Hobbit playthrough. As always, please like and subscribe. The harder you hit that like button, the faster I'll get the next part up. This has been Robo3840 for TNT Gaming. And as always, have a nice day guys.